Hi there, it's Shell. So, today I have been kind of going through some different kits and stuff, like digital kits, and I have seen these books a couple of times and they kind of inspired me to do like a friendship or a couple of friendship journals. So, I'm going to start working on these today. So, um, I think I'll probably end up keeping one of these and then putting one in my Etsy shop. But I haven't decided, you know, which which. So, let me show you the kits, or the kit I'm going to use. I went ahead and printed and cut everything out uh, of the kit so that that would be done for us, or for me. So, again, I'm just doing a little craft with me. Um, play time today and we'll see what we can get done in an hour so let me show you the pages so what I did this one is for the little yellow book and this book is good times with our friends I will be gutting the book and adding a sign to it and I will put on corners and clean up the cover a little bit so it has because it's got like 25 cents across the top of it and stuff like that. So, but this one is so fun. And I was going to tell you what the date is. And it's 1941. So, I'm going to utilize some of the pages that are in here. And I may put them some in this book and some in the other book. But I wanted to go ahead and do two of them for, at one time. And then this other book was in, let me see, 1947, and it has a bunch of awesome graphics also. So, we'll just see what we can do, you know, in the next week on these two guys. So, here's the pages that I have, and like I said, these are for the Good Times with Our Friends book, and the colors I'll be using, you know, will kind of be, um, inspired by these pages. These digitals are from Kelly's Crafts by Kelly on Etsy and I will put a link below so if you're interested in these. What I was looking for and I went all through Etsy to find these and I, what I wanted is just like pictures of friends you know boy girl two girls two boys whatever I just thought it would be like a friendship book you know I just thought that'd be fun. So, um, some of my digitals didn't print 100% well, but I think that that's from my printer. But I'm going to go ahead and use them like this because they don't bother me and they kind of add, I think, to the distressed look. So, here are some of these beautiful little pages. And what I did is I just went ahead and printed on the front and the back. So these will be going in both books, essentially. And I just wanted to show you guys before we get started. I love these kits. I think they are so fun. And, you know, I'll pull some stuff from my scrapbook papers. But I really had something envisioned for these books. So that's, you know, as soon as I saw this kit, I knew this was the one that I wanted to make these books out of. But aren't they adorable? They're so cute. <laughs> and this little guy is so cute. I love him. <laughs> so, just beautiful images from Kelly's Crafts by Kelly on Etsy. So, those are the pages. And again, I just did front and back on those. Uh, we have some little, um, tickets, a couple of little memo cards or journaling spots, however you wanted, sorry, however you want to do that. Uh, she had some guest checks, which I thought was really fun. And then some cute little envelopes or little pockets. Those are so cute. And then a lot of just little, um, ephemera pieces, they can be cards, 
So I went ahead and printed everything out, and then I'll use whatever I want to, you know, in each book. But if everything's cut out, then I don't have to do it, you know, at a later time. So, that's so cool. A uh, little, here's some more pockets, or some little pockets. And these are so adorable. I didn't do like all the fussy cutting, I just kind of cut out the main part on my paper trimmer. And then I can fussy cut, you know, the little bits and pieces later. Some postcards, which I thought were really sweet. I love those, I think those are so sweet. And little library cards, they do. So I'll probably make some like smaller library pockets or something for some of these. I haven't really decided. Um, right now I don't know what direction I'm going in. <laughs> so, you know, I have a couple of things planned, but not 100%. So I didn't cut these down yet. These are some tags, and I didn't get them cut down uh, because I wasn't sure if I wanted to use them as a page in the book or not. So I have some little adorable little round shapes. And these I was thinking could be belly bands, you know, just across the top of, of the book or across a, a page. And then this piece and, you know, they could be like sideways belly bands or just some decoration. So essentially that's the kit, and again that link will be below. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these guys out, and I'll probably just like work on one of these with you guys on my channel, and then I will work on the other one off camera. They're probably going to be kind of redundant, you know. Okay, so I'm just using a carving knife. My husband has a bunch of these. And this is one that he doesn't, you know, use a whole lot. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut out my pages. And depending on how brittle they are, you know, I may use some for envelopes inside the book or, you know, just see what they look like first. So if you guys don't like this part about... <laughs> tearing a book up, then by all means be sure and look away. <laughs> Let's see, I'm trying not, this is very sharp, so I'm just going to try not to cut myself. See, the spine is so flimsy anyway, so I definitely want to do a bigger spine. And I'll probably do at least a two inch spine, maybe two and a half inch. We'll see how that comes together. Uh, I'll pull out my erasers and stuff and uh, wipe down this cap or the cover. So I just want to kind of see how these are together. It looks like they're kind of in like signatures, you know, kind of folded together. Sometimes you don't know what you're dealing with until you <laughs> take everything out. So we're just going to kind of play with this and just see what, you know, we can pull apart here. Sorry about the cats. <laughs> They're just being loud today. You never know. <coughs> yeah, so I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I didn't get a video up um, the last couple of days. I'm trying to put one up Monday through Friday. But that might change, you know, week to week. Mainly because, you know, we have to work. Like yesterday, we went to... Um, to do a short job, and we thought, well, we'll be home early, but then they 
somebody called from a couple of hours away and said, we need you right now. So it depends on who needs us and what time. <laughs> on whether or not I will get videos up for you guys. <clears throat> so I hope you guys are enjoying these crafts with me. I know some people have told me that they really enjoy it. I've had a couple of people who say that, you know, it takes up too much time. But, you know, if you want to see, like, the process and see what we do in the end, you know, in the video, then by all means, just fast forward ahead and you can see what we've done, you know, if you don't want to just sit and craft with me. So, I'm just trying still to see, I think, yeah. This one still has. I'm trying to see if I can save it with, um, I don't like ripping the pages up. Let's see what we can do here. <clears throat> but yeah, the weather has been horrible here. They, um, we've been here 20, almost 21 years. And I think we've only had our highway closed down well, now twice, but it was closed down all morning because of the high winds and the snow gusts and stuff in the area. <laughs> we didn't really have anything, but so it must have been like further north and further south of us. <clears throat> but yeah, the whole highway was closed down all the way from Cortez, which is, uh, it was closed down about 40 miles, I think is what they said. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but pretty much all morning until noon. So it's been really windy, and they even closed schools early. They closed schools today at one o'clock. So I don't know. This is <laughs> this might be a little bit uh, more challenging than. I might have to do this off camera so you guys aren't just like, what is she doing? <laughs> but there's little paper or little twine in here. Oh, wait, there it goes. Okay. It's kind of holding them together. So, but I kind of wanted to throw this in so you can kind of see what we're doing. There we go. You know, let me put this away so that I don't hurt myself. <laughs> But I just wanted to show you, you know, sometimes you can pull apart a book and be able to use some of the pages in signatures. So instead of cutting them down and stuff, some of the books I have are like this and they're really hard to cut down. But let me show you. So, you know, if you want to though, like if they don't have anything, you know, if it doesn't matter, then you can already have some pages for your signature, which I think is really fun. <laughs> this is so cute. Sally said, it hurts here and it hurts there. I will put something on it. I will put this on it here. I will put that on it there. And then it will not hurt. <laughs> and she's covered in band-aids. That is so cute. But yeah, I'm just going to go through and, you know, like ones maybe where there's friends or something that I'm going to pull uh, the signatures. And I'll probably go ahead and pull three for this book and three for my other book out of here. That way I can use them for both ones. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now with you guys here, you know, so we can just kind of just see what we want to do. The paper is kind of fragile. I'm trying to be really careful, especially when I pull them apart. Now, when I'm pulling them, you can kind of see where the signature or where the uh, yeah the signatures are. Same right there. So here comes Miss Chloe. She's out today. You guys don't get to see her very much. She's a pretty girl. <laughs> She's a pretty girl. And this is Chloe. Chloe, look up here. People want to see you. Oh, look at that pretty face. Isn't she pretty? <laughs> she rarely comes up here when I'm doing anything. So, 
but she's fighting with one of the other cats. This one had a staple in it, but I think it's going to be okay. That was probably why it was so hard to take apart. I know some of my followers love to see the cats, and this is one that you will not see very often. <laughs> But she's our little love bug. She, um, she's the one that stays in our bedroom quite a bit. And like when the other ones are picking on her and stuff, she'll hear me get up and then she'll run in here and say, Mama, can you put me back in the bedroom? Because <laughs> we keep our bedroom door shut so that we have some of them separated and stuff. So that was like a surprise visit. Now she is laying down in her chair, in Grandpa's chair. Okay, so that had um, staples hmm. in it. Make sure I oh, got that right. Nope. Trying to make sure I'm not tearing like a page in half. Okay, so, but I figured this one would be perfect with the friendship. In fact, I love this page because friends are together. So let me see if I can salvage this one. And we'll come back and I'll show you how we will put these in our signatures. We'll do a Miss Gale kind of design that she does. So I really want this page in here because of the friends. And I have a, you know, like I said, I have a bunch of friends, and some of you guys send me happy mail and stuff. So I'm going to put, you know, things from you guys in my book that I end up keeping. So let's see what we have, like friendship and, you know, sisters can be friends, huh? My sister and I are really good friends. And they're not in any order, which is fine by me. It doesn't bother me, so which is good because <laughs> they wouldn't be in any order. But I'm still going to use them. So I'm just looking. These, I think, were well-loved. They're really kind of dirty pages and, you know, um, just little lovey um, pages and stuff. I think they're really fun. So let's put at least three in each book. So I'm going to put these in the book I'm working on now. So I'm going to put those over here. I have two books. And I have two separate places for them. So that like my digitals and stuff don't get mixed up. <laughs> oh, this is fun. How about the puppy one? If I can get it apart here. Some people prefer animals over people, so that's a friendship. <laughs> okay. That's okay if it rips because I can still use that. But, and if I decide to, I can use more than one page in the books, you know, so that's fun. Let's see, so I got one. Let's see, good times at the farm. Aww. How fun is that? I am planning a farm book, so I might save some of those for the farm book. That's fun. <laughs> Tired. Look at those cute little chickens. Okay, I may have to use some of those. So I'm going to save this set for my farm. So let's do this one maybe. No, let's not do that one because of the back. I could use them with the back, but I would rather have, like, um, something fun, you know. Okay, so we'll do that one. And let's find one more for the other set. And here's a bunch of them kind of eating together. So that's kind of fun. Okay. 
So we're going to do that. I'm going to put the rest of these aside and we'll kind of figure out what we're going to do with these at another time. And let's go ahead and take apart our other book and we'll see what, you know, that's going to inspire. I said I was just going to take this book apart, but in order to kind of get started, I kind of need to take both of them apart, I think, so that I can get my signatures for both books. So this one is bound the same way. So again, I'm just using my craft knife. And you can use like an X-Acto knife or whatever you have, you know. Here my cat. <laughs> They're being very vocal today. <laughs> they think we all took a naps earlier. And so I think everybody wants to get out and play and <laughs> So they're all having fun. Let's see. Yeah, I got that one. Got that one. Sorry, I should have warned you guys to look away if you don't like seeing the books torn up. But the thing with, you know, kind of redoing books, reusing books and stuff is, you know, they have it brings them new life. And to me, that's one way I can use I can enjoy a book uh, by giving it new life so it doesn't bother me as much as, you know, it typically would because I was raised in that generation where all books are, um, you know, sacred, don't cut them or anything like that. There's some books I would never cut open, you know, like the Bible, things like that. That would bug me, but not these. I think giving these new life is special, you know. I think this is probably where the uh, staples are. So, let's just see what we can do. Yeah, there's a staple there. Let's see if I can rip it. Yeah, these have a staple at the top and the bottom, looks like. It must have been just how they made them back in the day. And then they sewed them in. it's not all that hard to, you know, tear through a book. And I love these books. They just kind of remind me of, you know, some, they're kind of Dick and Jane and things like that ones that I grew up with. So that's really fun. Okay, so I'm going to put this book over here. See what I can do with these staples first, now that I know they're there. And... You know what? I might have a staple remover. Let me look in my roll apart thing. I thought I put one in here. I did. I'm so organized, you guys. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I probably saw this and thought, oh, I'm, I'll need that eventually in my cart. Okay, let me put that away or I will hurt myself. <laughs> what I do. So yeah, but are some of you guys getting the snow and stuff? I was thinking that, you know, it looks so beautiful outside and I was really surprised when I went on Facebook and saw that, I mean, all these places, I mean, horrible wrecks and all these places are closed and, you know, shut down and stuff. I was really surprised to see that. Okay. I'm not having any luck here. So, I'm going to be right back and I'm going to get this out of here. These staples. And I'll be right back and then we'll work on these pages. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I had to have my husband take out the staples, and those were really, really hard. So, I'm glad they don't make all the books like that nowadays. <laughs> or he'd be working pretty hard. So, this one is called Let's Talk. And I'm going to try to find the signature. 
and just make sure that I'm not, you know, ripping anything up. We can, again, we can fix that. These have kind of more um, individual stories or individual comments, stuff like that. Here's Cubby. So, for you guys who love Cubby, he's the most... <laughs> He shows up here more often than the rest of them do, so I'm trying to see what's going on here. This one has a lot more signatures than the other one did, so I'm just trying to, you know, I don't really want to rip it apart. Bubby, what are you doing, Bubba? Say hi to everyone. Okay, so that's the middle of the signature. Sorry guys, I know this isn't the most fun. So let's just see what we can find like intact. <laughs> Games to play and what is it like? What am I doing? Jerry pretends. See, this one's a good one because it says your friends at school. Kind of fun. Uh, I was going to see. I think I could cut it down enough to make it work into our book. Or fold it up or something. So, I'm definitely going to put that in both signatures. Uh, and I'm just going to kind of pull apart some of the signatures and just see what I can come up with. They're kind of, it's a different little book, like this page is way over here. So we'll just kind of mess around and see what we can do. But kind of do it for, um, you know, still focus on the friends. Did someone ever tell you and your friends to keep together? What, where are you going somewhere? That will work. Okay, let's see what else we can take out of here. <clears throat> I kind of want some of the ones with color, because some of them don't have color. But these are so fun. How fun are these? And once you get them apart, you know, it's not that hard to... <laughs> My poor husband was having a hard time there, but... Better him than me. <laughs> Sorry, him. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can do here. Ducks. Funny. Joe's friends gave him a present. Okay, let me see if this is a page. Having Cubby here doesn't help. But Daddy's working on his doily. He's getting really close to finishing it. And so, I guess I'll just deal with my little cat. The Frolics and Brook. Rhymes are fun. I'm just trying to fill, figure out my pages here. So again, if you guys don't like to see this, then you can certainly fast forward or go to the next the uh, next um, series, next, what am I thinking, sequence, what, I don't know, <laughs> my brain's not working, okay, this one might work, uh, getting ready for a party, they have the old tape on it, this isn't going to work though, because that's Santa Claus, let's see, I don't want to, Put that one on. Let's see what else I can come up with in here. This will be fun. Okay, so. There's the third one for this signature. And then I need three more for the other signature. Um, this will clam. I'll save that for my other book 
my barn book. Oh, this one's fun. So we'll do this one for the other book. So we've got one. Um, let's see, any colors? This is a really fun book. <coughs> Sorry about that. So it's really, I think I'll get a lot of use of it. Let's see, I'm just trying to find some, like, friendships and stuff. This one is here, but there's a big rip there. But I could probably fix that. Or use this page over here. Again, these are very fragile pages. Because they're from the 40s. Okay. That's fun. Fun at the park with your friends. Okay, so we'll do that one. And I just need one more. So let's just do maybe this one. Yeah. Oops, no. That one's really ripped right there. Let's see what this one looks like. Okay. Finally, <laughs> so we're going to start with those and then we'll kind of see what else we're going to do from there. We put these aside so I don't get them mixed up. <coughs> and then I went ahead and pulled some more books. Uh, this one is going to be a lot more colorful than like my coffee one because, you know, I want to lean towards pinks and blues and stuff like that. So we're going to look through this if Mr. Cubster allows it. <laughs> so maybe I'll look up like friends. Here's one I admire. Let's see what I can find. I'll probably just take one page. We'll see what I can come up with. Let's see. Friend. Here's friend right here, so that'll work. See if I can just pull that out of here. And I'm going to leave a link to that carving knife, the one that I use, just so that you guys, if anyone's looking for one, you know, they can go there. There'll be a link below. So we'll do friend and let's see what else we want. This doesn't go all the way through. So. The alphabet just goes to J. What about jokes? That would be kind of fun. Yeah, let's do that. Friends like to play jokes. At least I do. <laughs> okay, so we'll do that for out of this book. And that way I can use up some of these papers. And have a lot of interest in my book, I think. So let's look in this one again for friend. And if I find it, I'll put that in the other book. And friend right here. I'm going to have to cut these down because they're just way too big. So by the time I get them cut down and stuff, that should be about perfect. So I'll put friend in that one over there. And what about play or something? <coughs> and yeah, there we are. And this book over here. <coughs> there we go. That's fun. Okay. So this is just choosing, you know, the papers I'm going to use from other books. these journals so it's kind of fun I'm enjoying it okay let's see um I was going to look for friend again but let me see if they happen to have it they do have friend 
Let me see what else they have. You know, something a little bit different. So, play and let's see if they have a joke. That'd be fun for the one. Let's see if G. <laughs> jokes so let's do that one I think that will work nicely and then and the other one maybe I'll go ahead and just do play if they have I'm sure they have that I think so much for my I'm not gonna do them together huh <laughs> May as well, you know, it's only, it's not really twice the work because you have everything out. And you may as well kind of make ephemera for two journals compared to, you know, just one and having to come back and make it for two. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this journal. And we're going to focus on the yellow one. So I'm going to cut down some pages for this, and we'll kind of get our signatures somewhat kind of gathered up. Uh, I think I still have like 20 minutes or so, and that way we can kind of see where we're at and, you know, what we're going for, things like that. So I do have a little cheat note over here that tells me that my yellow cover, I want the pages to be 7 and a quarter by 10. In the blue one, I want them to be 8 by 11. So I'm working on the yellow one, and I want them to be 7 and a quarter by 10. I want the joke, so I'm going to cut this down to 7 and a quarter. <coughs> and let's see what we can do. I need my glasses. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Seven and a quarter. My joke is right on. And then we're going to measure it by ten. Let me grab my glasses. So I can see what I'm doing. Seven and a quarter by ten. And I really don't have to cut a lot off, so I'm just going to trim up that edge. So this will be one of our pages in our book. And then this one I was going to do, I think it was play. And that's perfect. So I'm going, again, I'm going to do seven and a quarter first because I know I want that part. By ten. I'm just going to trim it because even with the edges the way they are, they're going to be kind of, uh, they're kind of ripped like that. So I'm just trimming those. This one I'll probably have to come back with washi or something to, you know, cover that up. So it's a little bit stronger and will hold up in our book. This one, I'm going to do, cut it from here up. So again, I'm going to cut it seven and a quarter by ten. a bit smaller, which is fine. So, actually I'm going to do like this. I think that's probably three, four, four and a half. But I want my friend to show in, so we'll have a short page on one side and then like that. So on these, let me go ahead and cut the other ones for the other book while I have my cutter. Because these I won't be cutting. So, here's my cutoffs. I can go ahead and put those in the book, or I can use them for embellishments, whatever I want to do. So, this one we're going to use play right here. So, again, I'm going to just be how much I can get in here. Seven and a quarter. Nope, this one's eight. Sorry. 
eight by eleven. So, and it's going to be a little bit shy. But I'm cutting off that one edge. And here's my play. So, I'm trying to decide how I want it in my book. It would be like this through here. Okay, do it like this. Not going over there. Here's this one needs to be eight. Okay, and that fits really nice, so that'll work. I'm just going to trim off my edge again. And this friend is right here. That'll be nice right there. And then this one, I'm going to do joke. I think that'll be really fun. 8 by 11. So the reason I'm cutting it down to 8 is that's the height of my pages. And 11 is my width times 2. So just in case you guys were wondering. I kind of confuse people sometimes. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do it like this. Okay, so do like this and then kind of joke. Cute. Okay, so I'm going to put those again over there. Then I'm going to grab some stuff and we're going to go ahead and work on these pages. And I'll show you what we're going to do. And I think you guys will enjoy them. So, let's see what we have. Okay, so we still have some time. I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to work on these. And again, I'm just going to show you guys how I'm going to do this. <coughs> to make them fit into our book. So, again, this is... Miguel Agostinelli. This is one of her ideas, and I love this idea. So I pulled some papers, and I'm just going to kind of have like girly papers and stuff in these books. So I'm just going to use this one. It's kind of, it's harder than like regular paper, but it's not as hard as, you know, some of the cardstocks. So I think it's a really nice one to use. So I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do here. Okay, the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that this is, I'm going to go back to my little cheat sheet right here. I want it to be five inches. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to measure it five inches. So one, two, three, four, five. So that's going to leave me a little bit that I'm going to fold over. So we're going to fold it over like that. I'm going to go ahead and cut my paper to five by seven and a quarter. So, get some stuff out of the way so I can... So I'm going to cut this one to five. And then we'll cut it to seven and a quarter. Okay, and then that piece that we folded over, we're going to attach to this. Look how far off I am. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to trim this book page down because otherwise it's going to be a little bit bigger than I want. So I'm just going to trim it down to seven and a quarter because all my other pages are seven and a quarter. So. There we go. I'm not really losing anything, so that'll work just fine. And then I am going to grab my art glitter glue. And we're going to glue this piece to this paper. And what this does is that means you don't have to, like, you know, reset your little page. It kind of reinforces it because it is, you know, more brittle paper. 
and you're kind of adding, you know, some paper into your, sorry, all that glue everywhere, adding some paper into your signature, so when you're done, it's just going to add to your signature, so that will work really nicely, and then right here in the center, I'm just going to add just a touch of glue, just to glue this part down also. So it all is nice together. And then to cover this piece up, you can do whatever you want to here. I think I'm going to go back to some of these little pieces. I'm just going to trim them down and we'll just kind of make these work as little pockets. I think that'll be fun and I can kind of collage or something on them. So I think I'm going to use this side. I'm going to cut off my alphabet at the end. So mainly, you know, Gail, a lot of times right there, will use washi tape. But I don't have that many selections. So, and then I'm just going to cut that off at seven and a quarter. And I'm going to go ahead and make this into a pocket. So I'm just going to glue it around. You could make it into a larger pocket if you kept, you know, a larger piece of paper. You could put, like I said, Gail will put like washi tape on this part. Sometimes she'll make pockets or something too, but whatever you feel like doing at the time. And if I wanted to, I could like stencil or something on the back, but let me show you this. It's kind of fun. So, we just have our signature will go in like this. And then you'll have, you know, an extra piece of paper with a little uh, pocket. So, I think that's really fun. So, we're just going to go ahead and work on the rest of these. Again, I'm going to cut this down to seven and a quarter so that it kind of matches the rest of mine. I'm going to fold it. And Miss Gail does this with a lot of her um, golden books. So, she came up with this idea and I love it. So, let's grab another piece of paper. And like I said, I have a bunch of just fun sheets right here. <clears throat> that I can do. I'm going to go ahead and do this one and maybe we'll move on to the other side. You don't have to watch, you know, this full step. Seven and a quarter by five. But I kind of wanted to get all the signature part done at one time for you guys. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut that down to, oh, that'll work, five. Okay, and this one we're going to do it a little bit different. But I just kind of wanted to show you guys, you know, I know this, you know, some of these are time consuming, but some of you guys don't know, you know, these tricks and, you know, just a fun way to do things, easy ways. You know, some of these ladies have done so much, spent so much time creating these. And I think we need to learn from it and <laughs> it helps us out in the end. So, I really believe that. So, let me see. I really want a punch or something. Let me go grab a punch and I'll be right back. Okay, so I grabbed this large punch. I'm just going to put like a little page in here. Just a little like thumb indention. So, it's easier to put something in there. And then we're going to go ahead and glue that, and then we'll have a large pocket like I was talking about earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and put 
some glue down here. And I like to glue along that whole edge. Sorry, you guys can't even see what I'm doing. Okay. And then I'm just going to glue on the sides. Here and here. And that'll give us a little bit of a pocket. Like that. And then we're going to open it up again. Here, and we're going to just glue this little piece down. Like that. So, and I think I have one time to do just the one more. And we're going to put washi tape on this, but I just kind of wanted to show it to you guys. Let me kind of move some of stuff out of the way and I'm going to use this paper cut it again to seven and a quarter by five this down to five and then I want to cut this seven and a quarter while I'm at that let me scooch that out of the way okay and then we're gonna fold this over and you know this just gives it more sturdiness and with these fragile papers you could just set it in your signature like this like it is and then you could fold in your pages however they're so fragile that they might rip where you fold them so this is a really great alternative so I'm gonna go ahead and just put some glue here and I'll show you the washi trick Again, you can make these however you want to, but it is kind of fun to kind of, you know, kind of experiment and maybe have three different pages or, you know, whatever you want to do. You could make them all alike, put um, washi on all of them or papers, big pockets on all of them, whatever you're going for. These are so fun to work with. Okay, like that. And then here we'll put our washi tape. And I pulled out this kind of pink tape. I'm not sure where I got it from. But you know, you if you know where washi is. <laughs> They all seem to have washi, huh? Unless you're a newbie and, you know, like my sister. My sister is like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I have been educating her on what washi is and that you can pick it up at the yard, at the Dollar Tree and <laughs> stuff like that. Okay, so. I'm going to go ahead and just get this started. And I like to just kind of have it ready. And then I'm just going to put some of my art glitter glue down. I do have, you know, like the glue stick and stuff. But I really like my art glitter glue for... Sorry, you guys can't really see that. I'm totally out of thing. And then I'm just going to just bring it down here, okay. kind of line it up, and then <coughs> pop it here, Oops, so I can this. and putting the extra glue will ensure that it stays 
down. And let me find my scissors. Another right in front of me. There they are. So yeah, that's how simple it is to do these pages. The smaller ones. Now we're going to work on the larger ones. <laughs> Let's see what we can do with them. But then you can just come back and, you know, decorate it however you want to. So we got these three done. Those are pretty simple. Those will go there. Now we have these. And these are quite a bit bigger. So what I'm going to do, I think, is trim them down. Again, I need them to be seven and a quarter. So just... I don't think I could fold them up because I think they are too brittle. Let me just see. Let me double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a quarter. Wow, that's really... So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'd have to cut it about where the line is. But I think that'll work because especially this one, it says, tell the whole story, tell things in the order they happened. So I think it'll be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that down, seven and a quarter. Just to kind of get it to where we need it to be. Again, you could fold it up, but I was thinking that, um, you know, I, I just don't feel like that would work as well. And then I need five. So I can fold it over an inch, which would be right at the text. And I think that would work better than like cutting it off over here. So that's going to work. I'm going to go ahead and cut down these other two to seven and a quarter. And they're actually working really nice, so that's nice because, you know, I'm not cutting off tons of information or anything. Okay, and then we're just going to fold it over like an inch just to get down to our five. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe a little bit further, but we'll see how we're doing. I just want to make sure that my words and stuff, you can still see them. And that works out really well. So, that was nice. Seven and a quarter, or five. One, two, three, four, five. Looks pretty good. A little bit. So, I'm going to just take it out just a little bit so that my words aren't. And then, you know, I'll probably put lace and stuff, so it's not going to be that big of a deal. I just want to make sure that my words are, you know, still visible. And then this one, let's see, I'm just going to do it at the words, I think. That will probably be all right. But you can kind of see how it's kind of ripping. This one's older and it's definitely more fragile. So we'll have to like, double up on something. Okay, so then all you do is cut down your papers and, you know, do your um, papers like one of these or however, you know, you decide you want to do them. And you can fold this back if you want it to go in the back or whatever you want to do. So that's kind of fun. So I hope you guys, hope this helped you guys. Thanks for hanging in there for the last hour. I really appreciate you guys. Be sure and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And we will pick up from here tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and finish these, um, the signatures. And so I'll have the signatures already and then we'll start making ephemera for this. So thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a wonderful day.